this video, we'll highlight how to read statuses and perform actions using the Equipment Dashboard. The dashboard is the control center for a FieldNet-enabled device. You can view real-time equipment status and sensor readings, as well as control your equipment and auxiliary devices. To access the dashboard of a particular device, tap on the device from the equipment list. FieldNet will automatically update the equipment status several times a day, but to ensure you are viewing the most up-to-date information, you will need to initiate a system poll. Do this by using a swipe down gesture. Once the poll starts, you will notice the timestamp at the top of the screen will indicate a polling status. Once the poll is complete, the timestamp should update and the dashboard will refresh with the current data. If you wish to start or stop the equipment, use the forward, reverse, and stop buttons. The dashboard is always in edit mode, so notice that an apply or cancel button becomes available when I attempt to stop this device. You may make any number of changes to the dashboard, but the new statuses will not be sent until you press the Apply button. When an apply is made, the timestamp on the top of the dashboard will indicate an applying status. When the apply has successfully completed, the timestamp and dashboard will refresh to reflect the changes. There are three methods for changing the speed of a pivot. The FieldNet app allows you to enter a percent rate, application depth, or full circle time. From the equipment dashboard, you may also set a service stop position. Tap on the service stop to display the keypad and enter a new service stop position. Turn pumps and accessories on or off with a tap of your finger using the intuitive toggle switches. Additional tools are available on the equipment dashboard by accessing the secondary navigation menu. From here, you can view equipment history, edit in gun tables, and change equipment settings. That completes the quick overview of using the equipment dashboard. To learn more, see all of the FieldNet how to videos on the Lindsay Irrigation YouTube channel.